that's that's already sealed to be saved those, those are the only ones that's going to make it out of destruction man everybody else in the world that's not going to be put to death by the elect and the lord they they going into slavery man you know except for the except for the nation of israel because they're going to be put to death two-thirds all right any other nation they're going straight into slavery yep everyone that shall be found written in the book yeah in revelation 7 and 4 it tells you that the lord is coming to deliver you know, 12,000 from each tribe, from each 12 tribe, right? It says, and many, that's, that's it. You know. That was it? All right, yeah, that's, that's the main point. Out. Ecclesiastes 12 and 1. Remember now thy creator in the days of thy youth, while the evil days come not, nor the years draw nigh. Yeah, remember, remember the most high, Yahweh by Shemir Hashai, you know, in the days of, in the days of thy youth, because the majority of brothers out there that's, that's doing his work, you know, under under the elders, man. You know, we came in, we came in real young. You know, we came in as teenagers. Some brothers came in early twenties, you know, early thirties. That that's young. You know, the Lord had mercy upon you know upon these men. You know. When thou shalt say, I have no pleasure in them, while the sun or the light or the moon or the stars be not darkened. Yeah, the Lord don't take pleasure in, in, you know, these old ass, you know, 60 year old deacons or, or these church pastors and all that shit. You know, they look down, they look down on us, you know, when they see us out there in the streets like we ain't shit. You know, like we don't know nothing. We have no right to holding this Bible in our hand. That's how they look at us, man. But really, the Lord is looking at them like they ain't shit. All right? And then those are going to be the same ones that's going to get caught up in them evil days. You know, the clouds return after the rain. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble. Yeah, the keepers of the house gonna tremble, man. You know, shit. He, he saw, he saw, he, he's definitely gonna tremble when this, when this time, when this, you know, these evils come, man. All right, when when all hell break break loose and all, all types of shit, Esau is gonna tremble. And the strong man shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease. Yeah, and the grinders cease. That that that's that's slang for like you know, for work, man. You know when 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 every when the whole entire, you know, continent of America is unemployed, what do you think people gonna do when they ain't getting nothing to eat? They gonna they gonna come into your house, rob you. You know they gonna take your spoils, man. They gonna take everything you you possess. You know, those those are the evil days that that we looking at, man. You know it's it's all it's all in the news. You know in the media. You know everything is happening. You know systematically and and step by step. All right, just because you don't you don't see it happening at a rapid pace, don't mean the dominoes ain't 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 falling, you know, for this thing to happen. And those that look out the windows be darkened. Yeah, those that look out the window, man, which is you people who have dreams, you know, in this society, man. You know who 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 think you're gonna make it because you just graduated with a PhD and your masters and shit. You know, when when you just bought a so-called house and shit. You know. You gonna tremble when you when you realize that this economy is gonna collapse, you know, because there's no future for America. And the door shall be shut in the streets, when the sound of the grinding is low. Yeah, and the door shall be shut in the streets. You know, there's gonna be no more jobs. You know, literally, you know, there's gonna be no more, you know, um, no commuting anymore. You, you know, these these bridges gonna be shut down. You know, everything everything is gonna come to like what you see in um I Am Legend, The Road. You know, all that shit is coming to pass. And he shall rise up at the voice of the bird, and the daughters of music shall be brought low. Yeah, and the daughters of music shall be brought low. <laughs> these entertainers, these, these sellout entertainers that that's that's hand in hand with the so-called white men. You know, they, they 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 brought low because you know first of all they they they, they worshiping you know Satan. You know they in league with the so-called white men. Back then when music was at its at its prime, none of that shit was going on. You know, music was actually, actually what it, what it, what it was set out to be, man. You know, something you know people was passionate about. But nowadays, you got garbage ass music that's just promoting a whole lot of bullshit. You know, which which these elites they're gonna use them same goddamn music to fucking brainwash the stupid ass into taking certain chips and following this this new world order. All right. I got a precept for you. Oh, no, go ahead, bro. Go ahead. All right, this is um Amos uh five and fourteen. It says, seek good and not evil, that ye may live. And so the Lord, the God of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken. 
as, as he has spoken. Yeah, that's right. The God of hosts. All right. The host meaning God of armies, man. You know, if God is with you, then that means his armies is with you. Who's the armies? Them angels, man. Them same UF, so-called UFOs you see, you know, flying around. Those, those are the army of the Lord, man. Those are the hosts. And they're going to be with you if the Lord is with you. It says, hate, hate the evil and love the good. Yeah, hate the evil and love the good. You know, hate the so-called white man, but love, love a brother in his truth. You know, hate the ways of the so-called white man, but love the ways of the Lord. All right? And establish judgment in the gate. Yeah, establish judgment again. That's what we do when we out there, you know, prophesying this, you know, this downfall and destruction. You know, because this, this is judgment right here, you know. This is the judgment that's written in the book. You know? It may, it says, and establish judgment in the gate. It may be that the Lord God of hosts will be gracious unto the, remem the remnant of Joseph. Yeah, the remnant of Joseph, man, which, which represents Israel. All right, the elect and the remaining of Israel. All right? Therefore, the Lord, the God of hosts, the Lord, the Lord, say thus, wailing shall be in all streets. Yeah, wailing shall be in all streets, man. You know? And they shall say in the, in the highways, alas, alas, and they shall call the husband man to, to mourning and such as are skillful of lamentation to wailing. Yeah. And, There's going to be a lot of lamenting going on, a lot of crying, a lot of... You know, weeping and mourning, gnashing the teeth like this asshole made a song with, you know, Kanye West. Don't even know what the hell that's talking about. You know, all that shit's really gonna happen, man. And in and in all vineyards shall be wailing, for I will pass through thee, saith the Lord. Woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord, to what end it is for you. Yeah, woe unto you that desire the day of the Lord. That's talking about them, them, them ignorant, you know, people out there that's talking about oh, they can't wait for the Lord to come, you know. First of all, you don't know. You don't even know how the Lord look. Who is He? So how, how you gonna how you gonna be expecting the Lord to come when you don't even know how He look? You know, the so-called white man. You you believe He's the Lord, so He's already here. So what the fuck you waiting on? It says, to what end it is for you? The day of the Lord is darkness and not light. That's right. The day of the Lord is darkness and not light, man. Because when the Lord come with His angels and them chariots, all right, they're gonna block out the sun. It's gonna. It, they're gonna just, they're gonna hover, they're gonna, they just gonna be the, the new sky, man. You know, the sky is gonna be covered with, with so-called UFOs and the father shit, man. You know, nothing but darkness and gloominess. And when, they, when they're here, all hell already would have taken place. You know, it's gonna be taking place already. You know, so it's just gonna be a dark, gloomy environment. All right? As if a man did flee from a lion and a bear met with him, or went into the house and leaned his hand on the wall and the serpent bit him. Yes, in other words, there's no escaping. No matter no matter where you run, you just gonna run into some other trouble, man. Yep. You know, you try to run you try to run from you know, you you run try to escape the famine and Ecclesiastes said those that escape the famine, the sword is gonna get them. You know, so there's no escaping this. You ain't no escaping your destiny, man. Yep. Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? Even very and no even very, even very darkness, dark, and no brightness in it. That's right. That was it. This is um, Luke 12 and 49. I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will I if it be already kindled? Yeah, the Lord is coming to send fire on the earth, man, in the form of, in, in the form of nuclear destruction, right? Highly concentrated fire. The Lord said, what am I if it already be kindled? You know, if certain things didn't start taking place already, you know, such as race wars, you know, the famine. You know, all these things are going to kindle the fire that the Lord is about to bring, man. All right? Basically, the fire, the, the missiles is the, is the cherry on top, man. You know, and then it's just ready, all right? That, that's that's the last piece of the dish, all right? That's it on that. This is um, Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I, know, for I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace. And not of evil to give you an expected end. Yeah, and what, what's your, what's what's the end of all these people, man? Evil, right? You 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 know these people. The scriptures say when they shall say peace and safety, then shall sudden destruction fall upon men. All right, you think you think things are gonna prosper, things are gonna get better, you know? Everything is gonna be nice. You're gonna be able to raise a family, you know, have a wife, get married, you know, all this shit. Ain't none of that gonna gonna really happen, man. You know, if it does happen, you're going to find yourself in a situation. 
No, you're gonna you're gonna have fucking five kids, and when all hell break loose, you're gonna have to try to fucking defend all five of them. You know, and even your woman and shit. You know, this ain't no time raising no family and all that shit, man. All hell's about to break loose, man. That was it, man. Was it? I. Um, was that um? You get Amos saying eleven since so we were speaking about it. This is Amos uh, 8, verse 11. It says, Behold, the day cometh, it says, Behold, the day cometh, saith the Lord, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor, nor a famine of, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Yeah, that's right, because real soon people are going to be thirsty and hungry for this truth, man. You know, they're going to be famished trying to get this truth. You know, trying to hear, trying to hear this. You know, because all these people, that's why That's why the Lord ain't going to come and deliver a large portion of our people anyway, because they have no faith. To them, seeing is believing. Yep. You know? With, a, with, with the men of the Lord, you know, with, with brothers, you know, we, we haven't, we ain't see the Lord get on um, um, First Peter's out, 1 and 7, okay. and 1 and 6, you know, because we, we, we doing this by faith, man. You know, it's so strong in faith that we just know, we know it's going to happen, man. You know, we, we strongly believe that this shit's going to break up. Um, this, yeah, that was it. That was it, right? Um, first this is, Peter's. This is First Peter's one and seven. What's this? One and six. Start at seven now. All right. First Peter's one and seven. That the trial of your faith. It's like you start at six. My bad. First Peter's one and six. Wherein ye greatly rejoice, though now for a season, if need be, ye are in heaviness through manifold temptations. Yeah, through manifold temptations. You know, cause we all gonna be tempted, man. We all, we we every day we getting tempted, man. You know, Satan is tempting us. You know, Satan try to tempt the Lord himself. Why would he not try to tempt his servants? You know, some brothers fall to that temptation. You know, and some brothers overcome it and fight. And those are gonna be the, the brothers that's gonna be delivered out of him. That the trial of your faith, being much more precious than of gold that perisheth, though it be tried with fire might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Yahweh Shai. Yeah, that the trial of your faith, man, you know? This this trial era that we going through, you know, especially when especially when he saw, you know, you know, have you have you laying under a guillotine and you 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 actually watching a blade coming up and down, you know, fucking with you, asking if you're gonna take the chip. You know, trying to scare the shit out of you. That's the Lord is gonna try men like that, man, you know? See what you really made of. Whom having not seen, ye love. Yeah, exactly. That's, that's, that's the point I was trying to get. Whom, whom ye having not seen, ye love. All right, because though, though we, though we, you know, like the you know, brother said earlier, we speak about this. You know, it, it, ain't, it ain't actually happened yet. You know, we just talking right now. But when it actually happened, you know, the brothers that had the faith, that kept the faith, you know, they they gonna they gonna be the ones that's gonna be glorified, man. Because we believed even though we didn't see the Lord, man. Even if he didn't come down and tell us himself, we still believe. Continue. That was it in um, 7, right? No, yeah. 8 is verse 8. And whom, whom having not seen ye love, and whom though now ye see him not, yet believing, ye rejoice with joy unspeakable, full of glory. Yeah, because when the Lord come and, you know, deliver his elect, you know, brothers, you know, they're going to be so joyful, man, to know that they overcame this wicked-ass society, man. You know, they wicked, they, they came, they came over, they overcame all of these obstacles, man. You know, because the Lord, the Lord, he, he overcame the world. You know, right now, he, he's up there with, with, with the Heavenly Father. You know, just waiting to come down and establish his kingdom. You know? Um, quick precept. This is John 20 and 29. Yeah, how shall I save unto him? Thomas, because thou hast seen me, thou believed. Blessed are they that have not seen and yet believe. Yeah, blessed are they that have not seen and believe, man, because that's what faith is. You know, seeing, seeing is not believing, man. That's bullshit. You know, because in this world, you know, every, you know, things you see is deceitful, man. Satan will play fucking tricks on you, man. You know, but 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 with faith, you know, through this through this word, you know, you can't be deceived, man. You cannot be deceived with this truth. Like you got a saying called, oh, slack it. Like you got a saying called, um, blind faith. 
But the, all faith is bound because scripture said faith is the substance of things hoped for. That's what I got, man. Oh, all right.